Hi, everybody. I'm Sterling. Uh, uh, some of you know, sometimes I'm Eduardo. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't usually do vocabulary and pronunciation videos in, in English, but this uh, particular set of, of slides caught my attention. Uh, I, I found this on a page which is a meeting place for uh, Spanish speakers who want to learn English, and some of them are at a very basic level. As you might be able to tell, I am a native American English speaker. American English is my first language. So I would like to offer you in this video some of examples of American pronunciation of English because I noticed from this page that this is a very popular post. Everyone wants to know, everyone wants to know how these words are pronounced. So I'm going to pronounce them for you in an American accent and at the same time uh, I'll be making some comments about some of the, uh, the ways the spelling and pronunciation were presented on these slides that might help you understand how they actually should be pronounced. So you, if you'd actually like to hear how these words are pronounced, let's get going. I'm, I'm not going to read the words in Spanish. Just follow along with me in English because the emphasis here in this video is on English pronunciation. And when there's something I disagree with on the slide or I want to make more clear, I'll do that. I will do that as we go along. Please notice that many of the sounds are not pronounced like they're shown on the slide and that's what I want to help you see. That's why I'm making this video. Also, I'm going to make this maybe a several part video because uh, I don't want it to be too long. So uh, let's get moving. This is my opening slide right here. Uh, I thought you might find this bone humorous. <laughs> okay, isn't that interesting? I'm going to try to say all these words in a sentence, kind of in a dialogue, we'll just go along and try to use the words. And if I notice anything about the pronunciation diagram, I'll make a comment. It's going to be very easy. And here's my first comment, easy. Easy is pronounced with a voiced sound with the S. It sounds more like the letter Z, easy. Don't say easy, it's easy, easy. Easy means it's not difficult, it's not hard. Uh, this A-L-T, U-L-T, it's somewhere in the middle, difficult. Just listen to how I say it and try to repeat that. It's not hard, it's not difficult. And I'm offering you this information for free. It keeps me very busy, very busy. Once again, this S sound has a voice with it. It's busy, not busy, busy, busy. And for some reason in English, this U sound is nothing like a U sound. It's like the short I sound in English busy. Only, that's only because, I don't know why it is, it's only because. Accompanied, accompanied. You need to be, a, a children need to be accompanied by an adult if they're very young, young. Now notice with young, first listen to the vowel sound, it's uh, it's like the schwa sound, which I won't get into now, but just just try to imitate my voice, young. And note the ending consonant on this word. It's ng, ng is ng is flown by putting your tongue, the back of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, not the front of your tongue to the roof, roof of your mouth. Like yun, as is indicated on this slide, n, the letter n, is pronounced by putting the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Young, 
is pronounced by putting the back of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So it's not yun, it's young. Young or old, high or low. High or low, young or old. That's good, good. It's not bad, it's good. It's the normal way to speak. It's the regular way to speak. Regular speakers speak in a normal way. I'm not saying this is the best way to speak. I'm not saying it's the worst way to speak. But sometimes the bigger person wins. Sometimes the older person has more experience. Bigger sometimes means older, sometimes not. The smaller person is usually the younger person. Uh, you might notice here, I disagree a little bit with what they put in the pronunciation. It's not younger, it's younger. The ng sound is with the back of your tongue against the roof of your mouth, and then you finish that with a hard G, younger. Younger. It's like the word young, and then you add ger. Younger. That's big. This is small. This is big. That's small. Notice here, we do not put a vowel in front of an S. If a word begins with the letter S, it begins with the sound S. Small. Not S small. Small. Squeeze, not a squeeze. Squeeze, small. Okay. Fine, fine, that's fine. I like what they've done with the diphthong vowel sounds here. This like fine, it's like you're actually putting two vowel sounds together in sequence. Fine, fine. Thin, thin. I disagree with what they've done here. It's not the sound, it's not the sound of the letter Z. Thin, I've, I've put my picture in the corner of the video so you can watch when I say these things. When I say thin, I'm taking my tongue and I'm putting it under my front top teeth. Thin, thin. If I say zin, I'm leaving my tongue behind my teeth. It's not zin, it's thin, thin. You have to put your tongue out there under your teeth, thin. And thin, this th is pronounced with no voice. Uh, we also have the words the, these, those, this, those are the same TH sound, but they're used with your voice. But thin, or the word with, which I just used, have no voice. Fine, thin. Thick, the opposite of thin, is formed in the same way. No voice, fat and thick. Hard and tough, tough. Uh, I disagree with the vowel sound that they've indicated here. It says tough. It's not tough. It's tough. It's a schwa sound. Tough. I'll explain about schwas in another video. Uh, I'm going to go through just a few more and then we'll go to another video because we're getting short on time. Soft. Soft. The T is pronounced in soft. It is not soft as indicated. It's soft, soft. Very resistant. You must resist, resist change. Be very resistant, but please be pleasant, be nice, be agreeable. Again, notice in please, the S has a voice with it. It's like the letter Z, it's not please. It's not pleasant, as, as indicated on the chart. It's please, pleasant, nice, 
agreeable. Isn't that funny? Why does it say funny man? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I'm going to terminate right here and we're going to go to the next video and I hope uh, I'll see you there in a minute.